Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Impure and Galactic Survival. Uh, this is episode three of my Alpha 7 series, so let's uh, jump right in um, and watch my game lag. And okay, so it was the uh, Omi Hard Survival. No, Alpha 7 Experimental. There we go. <clears throat> So you saw last video, the the last 10 minutes or so was just blackness. That's not what it, I could actually see in the game way better than what the video portrayed. So I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, it seems to get really dark when it gets recorded and ooh, and obviously it's really dark again and I can't freaking see and it is six minutes until the next one okay well great okay so there we go we can get a little bit of the outline <clears throat> what I really want to do what I need to do I don't hear any critters about so really what I need to do right now is get this right up against the rocks here and then just settle it down a bit that way I can jump back in so I'm going to jump out and then first of all let's make sure I have what I need. So I noticed last time I had no biofuel and that was because I derped and did the fill all button and it sucked my biofuel into it so now I'm screwed. <sighs> what did I put in my cargo box? <clears throat> oh look at all the look at all the rotten food. That's awesome. Unfortunately I'm going to starve to death. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Wow. <laughs> oh, we still got... Okay, so we've got some oranges here we can chow down on. <laughs> and I've got almost no oxygen left. Holy crap, so i got to get that going too. Okay, so let's pull all this stuff out and put it into my inventory because that and that we're going to put down here. <clears throat> let's just move this back over into my cargo box for now. Same with that for now. Okay. Uh, so we're going to drop the survival constructor. We're going to drop the O2 generator and get that going. So let's jump out of here. Turn my jet back on and we'll jump and try and get out and not die. Okay. So there's a little bit of rock there. Perfect. Okay, this ain't too bad. What we can do is I don't want to block my HV. Now the survival O2 generator does not require to be put in water. It can be put anywhere. You can even generate O2 on a moon if you want. So I'm just going to put it. I am going to put it close to the water so because just in case I got to get jump into the water and still access it. Uh, let's just get that going. 11 hours, whatever. Good enough. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got a bit of a frog in my throat today. And we're going to get my survival constructor down because I need to create some biofuel with the rotten food. So let's do that. Put that in there. You know what? I'm actually going to put all this stuff in there. Um... Can't do anything with that right now. I better use some oxygen. Eat some more berries. Okay. So now you can see we can make biofuel. It cost two spoiled food. Oh, wow. I can make like 33 biofuel if I want. So let's get 10 going. Turn, turn that on. Just leave a little bit of food on me here. I do have my emergency rations if need be, which is a full, which is five full food value. Okay, space oranges. So we've got some food, we've got some oxygen brewing right now, and we've got biofuel spinning up. Let's go back into my um, hover box. We'll grab the rest of the ores and actually all the construction stuff. Let's put 
that in there, put that in there. Uh, yeah, why not? We'll put that in there, we'll put that in there. That I'm probably going to have on me. So once it finishes uh, building that biofuel, I'm actually going to start drilling into the mountainside and create a base and a hole because that CV is going to just come blow it up if I don't. So, okay, so let's put the rest of this in my survival constructor. Okay, and then we might as well get a bunch of, so I've got a base starter made and I've got a whole bunch of concrete blocks made. So I think what I need to do is make sure I can get the small generator up, fuel tank and large constructor. So that's going to require lots of steel plates, lots of mechanical components, motor, electronics, computers, computers. Okay, so why don't I just like go 20 of those. We're going to need like 20 of those. <clears throat> We're going to need 20 of those. And then once that spins up, then we can do like 10 of those. And we'll do one, two, three, four of those. I think we need like two of those. <clears throat> Okay, so we've got some biofuel here. Let's go like that. Now, I'm just going to leave this running. It can run for 16 hours. Okay, I almost hit the fill all. That would have just... <sighs> Stop derping, Z-Lot. <clears throat> now, let's get my drone up. Oh! Jeez, sorry, why don't I put my lights on? Derp a derp. And I think I haven't actually done anything with the tech tree yet. Yeah, so let's unlock a bunch of stuff too. Uh, I'm not too worried about the shotgun right now. What I will need is 5.8 mil bullets so I can kill stuff. Uh, let's go for an explosive device in case I need it. I don't need the light armor. Tools, we're going to need a multi-tool. Uh, miscellaneous, we're going to need cargo box. We're going to need an oxygen station. Our oxygen generator. Small ammo box, that looks good. And then my base, I'm going to need... I'll need an O2 station. I'll need a uh, cannon turret. Absolutely need a cannon turret. I'll need hangar doors. Uh, what do we got left? 29. I'll need a ventilator. I'll need an armor locker. Uh, I can't even... I don't have the mats for a repair station. You notice that they, they need Zascosium now. So, yeah, until I loot some of that, I'm not going to even bother unlocking it. Uh, we'll need a fridge. <clears throat> I'm not going to bother with the sentry gums. They're, they're just useless. They uh, have 50 hit points and just get one shot. Uh... What else am I going to need? My hover vessel, I should actually put some spotlights on it. Uh, going to need Gatling gun. Uh, oof. Should I do the... Let's do O2 tanks. And I've got the ventilator already. Oh, shutter door, shutter door, yeah. There we go. Okay, I think... We'll just RCS f for shiz and giggles because that leads to the other things. Okay. So now, in our survival constructor, we should be able to actually access a few more items. Let's take a look. Yeah, not much. <laughs> survival constructor can't really make much. Oh, it can make an O2, an oxygen generator. I did not know it can make oxygen generators. Is that something new that survival constructors can do? I can't remember them being able to do that before. Well, that's awesome. Okay, let's grab that biofuel. Okay, so while that's doing that, I think... 
let's take a look at our train here. We need... I don't even hear any critters. This might be the perfect spot without getting ravaged. Okay, so that keeps going up. So it just keeps going up and up and up that direction. So let's start drilling. Now I'm going to tab in and out so that I can see if enemies come. Okay, go back to my drill and we're going to do resource mining because that's the only way to dig. We automatically gather stuff with the T1 drill now which is awesome. I don't have to spam the F key to pick the stuff up anymore. Come on. So I, I was told that the drill drills faster. I mean, maybe it did a pretty decent hole there, didn't it? So, let's keep going. <clears throat> okay. Into my new biofuel. I know it's really dark and hard to see at night. Uh, until I get some night vision goggles and some lighting, I uh, just got to suffer with it. It's one of the survival aspects of the game, really, in, in early game. weird how it stops and it seems to be thinking about drilling and it doesn't really do anything for a bit and then all of a sudden it goes. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. That gives me some. That'll give me some overhead height. But I think if I dig far enough in here, it's going to be a moot point for overhead height. I mean, ideally, I need to get a hole that's big enough for my HV to go into, so it doesn't get shot up. Let's keep just working this a little bit. I'm going to expose a bunch of the water, but I don't really care. I'm probably going to have blocks coming out here anyway. And I guess it's good that the water's not fluid because it would probably uh, flood my cavern if it was. So you can see the water level right there. It's just a thin little, it's a thin little wafer. But it's water. <clears throat> okay, that's definitely not far enough in. Come on, light. Just got to try and get a hole big enough for my HV and kind of tuck it around the corner, right? And then I'll... 
because that way when I put my my starter my base starter down it'll be completely protected by dirt so nothing will be able to shoot it okay so where are we here so let's just keep going straight in a little bit more Maybe the biome that I'm in right now doesn't even spawn critters. So that could be a, a huge thing. Okay. Getting there. I got none on me. <clears throat> I better grab some real quick. Back up to full. Uh, parish time 12, parish time 11, parish time 12. I don't want my food spoiling on me yet because I've got enough spoiled food now. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look at where we're at with all this stuff. Ooh, I can make an actual oxygen generator water generator so right now I need that fuel tank so let's get that we need metal components metal components okay uh, metal components or oh, needed steel plates so let's do 10 of those so we have tons of steel plates that I just made <clears throat> you notice that I can't smelt the cobalt ore right the uh, survival constructor can't do it. The mobile constructor can't do it. Uh, not until you get the large constructor up and running. Good, we got daylight coming now. Excellent. Excellent. We don't hear any critters, so that's excellent. Okay, we've got a fuel tank ready. Now we need. Oh, we can do the small generator. And then what's that going to need? It's going to need one more computer. Okay. So we'll do that. And that'll get me everything I need to start a base uh, with a constructor, with a large constructor. Then I can actually start making some real stuff. Okay, and a large constructor. Nice. Okay, we'll keep digging while it's doing that. The, uh... This is a nice little pond. I like it. Did I have actually check for seaweed in this? Uh, there's those flowers that are actually trees because you can cut them up for wood. Um, no seaweed in this pond. Okay. Whatever. Don't see any critters up there. Okay, good. And, oh yeah, that's plenty high. Oh my god, yeah, that'll be... That's awesome. Okay, but we do need to go this direction now. So, Tab in, tab out, get my radar back.
ideally what I want to do is make a little parking area for my HV in here so that um, so that uh, if the CV does come along it won't even see my HV it won't even be able to it won't have LOS on it so it'll just leave me alone it won't even stop and try and kill me now that's going to be different when I actually spawn a base or when I uh, when I create a base that that means the drones are going to start coming and but if they can't get into a tunnel like this then I'm going to be safe now in in alpha 6 drones used to give up if they couldn't get to you and they kind of fly away for a long time and come back like 20 minutes later and kind of check you out again and if they couldn't get to you they'd fly away eventually so I'm hoping that's going to be the same the same behavior in 7 I'm, I'm not really sure if they worked on the AI at all getting there we're getting there okay okay so let's see Let's go on. I think it's big enough for my HV to fit in there now I don't want any part of it visible from the from the entrance. And then all I have to deal with is just critters that could potentially come into the entrance, but that'll be sealed off pretty quick with a hangar door eventually. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try jumping in it and moving it. Okay, so I stick with the low hover height round. No, obviously not. We're getting stuck. Okay, so there we go. we're moving in. Getting there. Come on. Come on. Can we get in further? Can we get in further? Oh yeah. Look at that. Okay, come on. A little further. Can we? Can we get in? Nice. Okay. need this running so let's just shut her off oh and look at that um, what is that red thing on my horizon Let me try get, oh, what is it 483 it's it's going past oh seriously I can't get out okay. oh. are you kidding me I'm stuck. <laughs> there, drill this freaking seal. Why is it not drilling? Why isn't it drilling? What's going on? Is my drill busted? No, oh, there it goes. Okay, well. So it's too close to drill? Oh, that's whacked. Okay, can I jump out now? Yes. <laughs> I'm really curious to see what that was that went by. Whatever it is, it's gone now. Meh. Okay. Can't see my HV. So I think we need to keep drilling over this side. Oh, I just... Really? Hey! Look at that, I can drill through my HV! <laughs> 
What the hell, really? That's <laughs> why. <laughs> oh, can I drill straight down too? No. Drill there? Yeah. Really? I hurt myself. I hurt myself that far jumping out of <laughs> Wow. Did like 50 points of damage or something too. Wow. That was uncool. Oh, I can see the opening. Okay, so I'm going too far that way still. Let's get over here. Yeah, that was a little trippy of a jitter. Doing the jitter bug. This way. Actually, place the base starter. So we can't really see the exit anymore from there. Okay, so I'm thinking, okay. Now what I like to do is I like to have the blocks facing directly out the tunnel. So the only way to make it face the way you want, it's the direction that your avatar is facing is the direction that the base blocks position themselves. So I will place my, my avatar here and I'll just drone it up and I'll go over here and I'll take my base starter and hmm, I want to sink it down a little bit in and down. So let's go here and we'll sink it right there okay so drones will be coming probably pretty soon probably before i even have this up and running um let's get some blocks on here and oops that's gonna clip right into did that clip into my hv yeah it did Shit, that's gonna fling my HV. I gotta jump in it. Or else it'll launch it to outer space or something ridiculous. Okay, just jump in it, not over it. Thank you. <laughs> see there? See what I told you? It just ejected. Oh, okay, so let's. Okay, that's okay though. get up no okay so good enough what I'm gonna do right now is let's get out and we're gonna keep going with this so let's keep drilling and placing blocks so, <laughs> ceiling do it with my drone no come on thank you 
Ceiling's a little low for my hover vehicle, so we'll get that cut out a bit. Huh, took damage. I think it's taking damage because it's classified as a PvE planet, or a PvP planet, so every time I bump into it or, or like, hit it with, hit, just crash into something, I think it takes damage. stuff dug out. Then eventually when I get a multi-tool, I'll go back to the Havoc, what's left of it after the CV decimated it, and multi-tool it. There won't be much left of it. There won't be anything good to multi-tool out of it, because it's it'll the core will be gone, the generator will be gone. Um, although Although I could probably salvage the fridge out of it it might not have destroyed the fridge because I don't think that's a thing that it even cares about or targets and there was some grow plots in it too I believe which I would like to recover okay good good and come on get down there right there yep okay let's keep moving this earth Locks down. Sorry, my little uh, schnauzer is acting up. Sounds like the neighbor's dog is barking and causing my little schnauzer with an attitude to bark back. Okay. Get that in there. Um, do you think my CV can fit up here? Probably not. Uh, um, HV, I should say. Let's keep drilling. Yeah, I do want to pull that forward because if when the um, when the drones come, if they see any part of my HV, they'll just they'll just start peppering it. It's just a sitting duck right now. I gotta, gotta pull that in. That's going to be my outer edge. So let's pull some blocks along. So we're going to clip into my HV, maybe. So let's get some more blocks on here. Is that going to clip? Nope. Okay. Sure, they'll show up any second here while I'm screwing around with this. Okay, let's put that there. And we need to drill this out more. Oops. No.
Now I'm not sure if it's just placing the starter block causes the uh, drones to attack because I've had a partial base set up before and I didn't power it up and it triggered. I think it was almost like when I put the generator down or something, I think it triggered it. So <clears throat> we'll see what happens. Pull that along. Got a block in here. We'll dig out this corner. What I want to do is expose a corner and start building from the corner. That's how I. That's how I do my bases. I I try and get to a corner and I build out from the corner. use all that oxygen? Yeah, I did. How's my food? Oh, it's about to expire. Better eat it. Mm. Really getting low on food now. I'm going to have to uh, hurry up here. I need to hurry. So let's dig this out the ceiling. I got to get my HV up here. And then somebody, it was kind of funny, somebody was arguing with me saying that you can only get crushed stone while mining a deposit. And I was like, no, no, I can get crushed stone by just digging a hole. They're like, no, you can't. I'm like, well, actually, yes, you can. And this video proves it. <laughs> okay. Uh, hmm. Is that going to be high enough? What do you think? Maybe not. A little bit more. Just a little bit more. Temperature's rising. And that's another issue. I gotta get get a sealed base. Powered sealed base. You can seal it, but it doesn't mean anything if you don't power it. Okay, let's try moving my HV now. Yeah! Nice! Okay, good. Okay, I can turn that off now. Oops! Didn't mean to unwear my helmet. Get out. I need to go get some oxygen really quick here. Switch to my gun. And nice. 
Oh, hey, they... Everything seems to stack more now, which is fantastic. Um, I would think that's even more gentler on the overhead for the database because now there's one stack instead of four, right? Wouldn't that consider be considered one object instead of many? So I would think that's going to help with their... Um, with making the server uh, more efficient. Okay, so let's get this going. Get my drone out. Get some blocks here. So we're just gonna fill this right in. Push that right to there. Yay, I leveled. So you get experience for actually uh, building things too. So that's good. Okay, and obviously my HV ain't gonna get through there now. So I'm gonna have to dig this out. But I think what I need to do is start my wall here. So let's get this out to here so that's just I'm just gonna dig that out more okay so now come on no come on thank you and then oh, I don't want to put a block on top of where there isn't a block because then it gives you a shitty in, um, structural integrity so let's go like that like that okay so now that we're up here and we've got some some actual um, sight lines blocked off here this is where the tunnel is going to come out and ooh, dug a little deep there. We'll just support that. Some blocks that go into the dirt. And one more, because I'll probably have to ramp this down maybe. But let's just fill this in. Oh, no, it's actually gonna touch the water, so that's perfect. I don't need to. Uh, I don't need to ramp that up or down. That's that's a great height because that'll work. That'll work. And then I'll just put some of these down. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of a ramp to get in. So we'll just continue this wall. Yeah, I'll be digging. Oh, really? Am I just that stupid? Yes, I am. <laughs> and now I don't even have a multi-tool made. Oh, God. Derp a derp. Okay, so we'll deal with those later. Switch back to the regular blocks. Um, okay. Fill that in. There we go. Uh, let's move my hover. If I can jump into it. Okay, power it up. And then we'll go over here. I just want to move it out of the way for now because I'm going to be putting constructor down and stuff. So we'll just go there. Okay, so let's get this shit installed. Where did I put it? Did I... No, oh, I must have left it all in the survival constructor, didn't I? I did. That's okay. So we'll take that, take that, take that. And I've got fuel on me. Okay. 
Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to take all this stuff. I'm going to take that and that and that and that. Oh, all my food is spoiling, but that's okay. And then that and that. That. that, that. Oh, hell. Just grab it all. So I'm just going to throw it into the other constructor then. Okay. So let's get this down, put that in my bar, we'll put this in my bar. I'm going to stand this up like that. We're going to put this right there. Leave a bit of a gap in between those and I'll put my constructor. Come on, will it? Come on, one more over. Because i got to dig that out. No, I'll just put it there. Then. Oh, ugh. I hate how twitchy it is. Oh, well. That's where it's going now. No, I don't want to move that. That, 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 that. Just putting everything in there for now. Okay, so instead of doing the fill all, because I've learned my freaking lesson, I'm going to go into here and I'm going to actually take my fuel and drop it in. And wow, that really ate up a huge chunk of my fuel. Okay, uh, let's turn the base on. We now have a... Oh, look at that! As soon as I turn my base on. Okay. So, um, what we can do is, well, I don't have anywhere to put a turret anyway. So, ooh, I can make Gatling guns for the, right. So let's make a couple of those because we can go and shoot them then. Uh, we'll make some bullets, so 1,000, 2,000. So they use, pro it uses steel plates and promethean pellets, jeez. Uh, multi-tool. I need a multi-tool. And then I'm going to need multi-charges. So let's make a few of those. Okay. And, oh, I don't have an ammo box. So I'm going to have to make an ammo box. Uh, what else? Oh, I can make shutter doors. So I can seal that off. I can make a hangar door. Because I'm going to need to. Let's make some cargo boxes. I need a. I need O2. That's SVHV CB. And oh, you know what? Let's get an O2 generator going. Might as well get a water generator going. We'll get a food processor. We'll get a fridge. Um, so small two tanks. Okay. And then. What else? What else do we need? Uh, well, let's make a O2 station then. What are we at on? T so four hours and 40 minutes with a full small tank. That's with the constructor going. Okay. So I guess I'm going to have to pistol whip these guys because that's all I got uh, what's my ammo looking like 65 oh god I can't take on anything with 65 bullets and we are out of time so I'm gonna call the episode here um, I'm just gonna save it right now quit so that it, uh, the next time I log in, the drones, we're going to have to deal with the drones. We're going to have to deal with um, getting the base sealed up and putting up some defenses, maybe. Although I probably won't be putting up a turret right away because that means I'll have to punch um, concrete up through the roof to make a little tower for it to sit on. And yeah, so, so right now I'm going to hold off on the turret. Well, guys, if you like the episode, like and subscribe. Uh, next episode, we're, we're 
going to try to keep surviving. So I think we got a really good start today. I got a base up and running with a survival constructor, not is my only constructor. So woo. Uh, okay, guys, have a good day. I will see you on the next episode.